Hi everyone, you're back on my channel where here I show you how to cook food. And today I'm going to be showing you how to cook a beautiful salmon. I've got this tail, tail fillet today. I didn't know what to make. Well, we'll figure it out as we go. I'm kidding. I know how to cook. I'll be making two kinds, raw and cooked. You can choose for yourself which one you like better. I know a lot of people are afraid to eat raw salmon and say, Oh man, you have to cook it. I've been eating raw fish for years, eating raw meat, and in principle, nothing has happened to me so far. As long as I'm alive and well, so you can choose the raw option and have no fear. I'll be making roasted salmon with oven-roasted vegetables. It's kind of Mediterranean style. And I'll also be making some kind of bruschetta with Philadelphia cheese. And I'm going to make the salmon in the form of this tartar. I'll add lemon juice to the tartar. To prevent all these stories about it being raw and not cooked at all, lemon cooks the fish, lemon juice cooks the fish. Remember, wisdom. All right, that's it. Salmon's in. I've got it all set up in there. Let's start cooking. But before we start cooking, as always, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to my channel because you won't miss any cool videos with some cool, delicious recipes. Put a like under this video because I'm doing my best for you and you just need to click one button to support everything I'm doing for you. And also please write any comment to support my channel. It will be very gratifying for me and that's all you have to do. You can write on topic or you can write off topic. You can write whatever you want. I don't care. Just write it. That's why I'm standing here telling you. I want to get some feedback from you. That's it. Let's start cooking. Let's go get the vegetables, put on our protective armor, and put our hair somewhere out of our way. Before we start working with the fish, vegetables, and so on, we need to turn on the oven, preheat it to 220 degrees Celsius, uh, 425 degrees Fahrenheit. And that's it. Basically, we're going to get started. I'm going to start with the cooked version, which will have to be fried, so that later, while we're cooking and frying, we'll have time to make a raw version. What do we need for the cooked salmon? We need green beans, green runner beans, we need small cherry tomatoes. I have two kinds, red and yellow, just for color. You need garlic, you need black olives, but Kalamata olives are better. If you can find any, if you have any, I just didn't have them at home somehow. For some reason, I couldn't find them at the store either. There's some kind of shortage on Kalamata. Anyway, I got black ones. I'll use black ones. I got anchovies. Everything for flavor, everything for taste goes in there too. Olive oil, salt, pepper as a spice. That's it. We bake the vegetables separately, roast the salmon separately, just like that, without everything. Salt, pepper, olive oil, of course. Let's get cooking. I take a baking tray like this, and now here I'm going to immediately mix our vegetables together with olive oil and everything else. Chop, fold, and mix.
We mix everything in one place like this and send it to the oven. It's already warmed up, by the way. While it's baking, we're gonna cut off the salmon that we need for cooked for roasting and save some for raw. We'll work with the raw right away. And when those vegetables are already done, we'll leave them in the oven. Or we'll take them out, let them cool down, and we're going to quickly roast the salmon because it roasts very quickly. Let's get our vegetable mix in the oven. Wow, it's hot. Let's get a fish board and work on the fish. I'm not sure yet about whether I'm going to remove the skin from the fillets or grill on the skin. I'm going to see if I like the skin or not, and if I don't, I'll remove it. I think I'm going to work with the salmon on the skin, grill it on the skin because the skin looks great. It's peeled off all the scales already pretty much. That'll take away the extra bits. Anyway, okay, we'll grill it on the skin. Now I'm going to cut a small piece for the raw part. I don't need a big one. I'll cut it small. This part I'm cutting off the skin, of course, because I don't need the skin here. I also don't need these dark parts here. That you always have to remove if you're working with with raw fish. And I'm going to cut off a lot of the outermost tail. I don't need it either. I'll divide this frying part into three portions and leave it for now. I'm going to let it sit there waiting for its time. Okay, now I take this piece here and finally chop it for what's called tartar. I've already chopped the salmon, put it in a bowl. Now I'm putting it away in the fridge while I work on the other ingredients for this dish. By the way, I forgot to tell you how many minutes I put the vegetables in the oven. About 10 minutes, no more. The temperature's high, it's gonna cook fast, so it's like... And it's all sizzling and smelling because there's anchovies in there and it smells delicious. The rest of the ingredients for the raw salmon are shallots, onions, Capers, salt, pepper, olive oil. I'll take dried dill because fresh is too bright. Dried is more balanced. And I'll take another pepper, Aleppo pepper, it's called. It's a seasoning, dried, but it's very tasty dried pepper. It's so tomato tinged, very tasty. And that's about it. Let's put it in the fridge for now. Chop the rest, prepare it. It's all here, chopped, mixed, dressed, and ready to stand for a little while. I'll put it in the fridge while we work on the rest. The veggies are already baked. I turned them off. I'm taking them out now, and we're working on the grilled salmon. By the way, the bread for this tartare right here, I've already toasted that too. In order to fry salmon, we need a skillet. So we take the skillet, and we go to the stove to fry the salmon and we need olive oil, salt, pepper. To grill the salmon, anyway, you get the picture. Shh. 
We take the olive oil, wait for the skillet to heat up really well and fry. Well, we survived the frying with the shooting oil. It's a thing, yes, you can't get rid of it and it's not going anywhere. I have to clean the whole kitchen afterwards, but that's what the kitchen is for, to cook, get everything dirty, and then clean it. So don't worry about it. Anyway, we're all set. All we have to do is serve. Hot dish, cold dish, and taste. All done. The cooked salmon is ready. The uncooked salmon is ready. Let's taste it. Let's try just salmon, cooked without everything. How well did I grill it? I grilled it perfectly. And let's try the vegetables. They smell amazing. Very light and flavorful, very balanced, very... Very bright in flavor. Altogether, it's very good. By the way, black olives baked this way with anchovy. Are very tasty. Yes, really, very good. In fact, I wouldn't change anything. I wouldn't add anything. No sauces, no garnishes. There's already a side dish here, which are vegetables to meat, to fish. It's all great together. Let's get to the raw version. We will try such a tartar bruschetta with salmon. The smell is very good, fresh, bright. Let's try it. It's like beef tartar, only instead of beef I put salmon here because the ingredients are very similar, but it's so damn good. It's... As good as possible. This is as good as it can be. If it's very tasty, then this dish is another level. What can I say? I'm definitely in the raw food camp. No, I'm not in the vegan camp. I'm in the camp of eating raw fish, seafood, anything raw. I love all that stuff so much. It's unbelievable. And this... This is perfect. This, by the way, the combination with the Philly cheese. Well, it's a no-lose. It's a no-lose. It tastes really good to me. I'm very much pleased that it turned out like this. This is on a note to those who like to cook salmon and want to, to eat more lightly. And this is for all the raw fish lovers out there. So on that delicious, delicious note, I'll be saying goodbye to you. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I hope you'll be making some of this. And you're going to love it very much. Write in the comments, will you cook it? Have you cooked it? What do you think? What do you think of my ideas in general? I'm on the raw fish side. What side are you on? Let me know in the comments. See you very soon in the new video. I wish you all a good appetite. All the best. Bye bye.